everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas, and I'm going to do a pour using um, satin enamel. And I got my inspiration from <clears throat> Melly D. So I'm giving a shout out to Melly D. That's M E L Y D. Um, and it's Melly D. Dot, um, artist, I believe. Um, I will leave her name in the description. And let's go over my paints today. Um, my satin enamel is Dutch Boy, and it's going to be a navy color. And my next color is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. My next color is the Deco, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. And my next color is Montmartre Metallic Magenta. And my last color is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. So what I'm going to do first is take my satin enamel. And if you get a chance to watch Melly D, you really should. She's a great artist. Um always coming up with new pores and she really thinks outside the box and she'll give you great inspiration on different types of pores. This is one of the type of pores she just did recently and I think the results turned out fantastic. So I'm putting that all around the edge. And then I'm going to take my 24 karat gold. Oh, I'll talk about pouring consistency. I even did use uh, Melly D, what she uses for her pouring medium. Um, it is the Liquitex glazing medium. And I pretty much had to use almost two to one glazing medium to paint. And then I really did have to thin it quite a bit um, with water. And I'll show you here the consistency. And no silicone is added to the paint today. It just, it just left a little trace and then disappeared. And put the 24 karat gold on these two edges. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put the bright aqua green in the other two corners. And now I'm going to get my cup. And I will get my paints poured in my cup that I'm going to use in the middle. And I'm going to start with the, um, the white. The magenta. No silicone was used today. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. And I'm going to put a little bit of the gold in here also. Oops. Some more of the white. The magenta. And that aqua green. And the gold. And I think I will 
put some more white. Finish up my white here. Okay, and now I'm just going to pour it in the middle, like a dirty pour. Maybe turn it a bit. And then turn it back. Okay. And now I'm going to do some tipping. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to the middle here. Just tipping it a little more here. Just mixing the paint up a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to let's set it down here and see what I have. Very pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit here a minute and see what happens. Cover my sides here while I'm waiting. Try torching a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is try and get this paint to go over the the navy on this end here. And bring it back. And also down here. A little bit. And bring it back and see what I have here. Okay. I'm 
torch a little more. And you can see how the paint is starting to react with that satin enamel on the edges. Let it sit here another minute or two. Just see what comes up. Torch a little more in this corner. See if we can get something to come up here. The longer you leave it sit, too, you're going to see more of those little cells come up along the edge from that satin enamel. That's the reaction that the acrylic paint has with that satin enamel. I think I will tip it over the edges here, these corners. Take my paint and just go over that corner and come back. And I'm going to go to the other corner. And come back. And now I'm going to bring it down again. Into the center more. Okay. That's, I think that's very pretty. And then I will torch again. The gold is very, very beautiful in here. Okay, now the last part of this painting is I have some water-based spray paint that I purchased and I'm just going to lightly spray on top of the painting and see what kind of effects we get and my color is, um, let's see, It is the Prussian Blue, and it is, I will list the company, it says MTN, and I will list the company in the description. Let me show you this paint. Water-based paint. Since I'm not spraying outside at the moment, I am going to put my mask on, and then I will take the painting out later to dry outside. I'm just going to do light spray here and see what it does. See what kind of effect we get. It's very pretty. I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. Just 
to spray a little bit over on this side. Okay. And I will put at the end of this video the dried results. And I will get you down for a close-up. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And this was a pour using the enamel paint. This is the upper left-hand corner. You can see all the cells coming through from that enamel paint. And you can see that where I sprayed the paint here, you can see just all that shine. It's just beautiful. The gold, 14 karat gold. There's some of the enamel paint coming through. That's very nice right in there, gold with the enamel paint in the same cells there. And this is coming up the middle. You can see where I've sprayed the spray paint here. This is very pretty in here. And this is the upper right hand corner. And right in here, you can see the results that I'm going to get from that spray paint. How it's sunk in between there in those cracks like that. Very pretty. I'm going to be excited to see what the dried results are. And this is what Melly D, what her painting ended up looking like. Very pretty lacing in here. The magenta, very pretty. Overall, I really like this for a first time. I, I'm going to practice some more on it to get it, you know, to get it down a little better. But so far, I'm very pleased. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you share it. Subscribe if you haven't and ring the bell. Choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. There's some cells there also coming up from that um, enamel. So pretty. I'll just take you, there you can see the shine and the shimmer. Very pretty. Okay, and until next time, take care everybody. And I will show you the dried results at the end of the video. Take care. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Deb again. I just wanted to show you the dried results of this painting. And hopefully you can just really see the shine, the shimmer. This is down the right hand side. And you can really see that shimmer in there. And if you remember, I did the spray paint and look how that turned out. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous here. How it's, it's sunk in there around that lacing. And this is up the left-hand side. Very, very pleased with the outcome of this painting. And I'll take you back and show you the whole painting. Turned out just, just beautiful. So I wanted to share the dry results with you. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.